you get ready this morning, you need to hear this new study. It's alarming. In fact, research found two common beauty products may be associated with an elevated risk for breast cancer. We're talking about hair dyes and chemical straighteners. And I tell you, right there, you've Amen. got my attention, Bree. It's all right, ABC 13 reporter Bree Berry joining us there in the studio. A lot of questions here. Yeah, and this is going to be one to scare a lot of people. But as journalists, we know sometimes it's about reading past the headlines. So that's what we're doing this morning. It sounds scary, a new study that says permanent hair dyes and chemical straighteners are linked to breast cancer. Okay, so we decided to look beyond just this one study to get some answers for ourselves and for you. Now, the study was published in the International Journal of Cancer. It found the use of permanent hair dye is associated with a 45% greater risk of breast cancer in black women and a 7% greater risk in white women. Now, the researchers point out the products made for black women have chemicals known to disrupt the body's hormone regulation, possibly increasing the risk of cancer. So how concerned should you be this morning, ladies? First, I want to note the study tracked nearly 50,000 women, but they all had a sister diagnosed with breast cancer. So they were already at a proportionally higher risk for the disease. Now I went to the Susan G. Komen Foundation website, a very great resource to use to see what they had to say about the possible cancer link. Well, there's an entire page dedicated to hair dyes and it says studies show the use of permanent hair dye does not increase the risk of breast cancer and very bold right there. So here's the takeaway. Critics of the study say more research needs to be done, that this study just isn't conclusive. Bottom line is we aren't saying to completely ignore this study, but we don't want you to just hear this headline and get scared. And Samika, I know that you had some questions right. since this study also talks a lot about hair straighteners or relaxers. So what I'm going to do is take those questions you asked, go back into the newsroom, and then at 630, bring those answers back to you. Because I'm sure it's a lot of questions that everybody yeah. out there has as well. Oh, well, of course. I mean, the first thing you said, you, uh, you know, straighteners, breast cancer, mm -hmm. you put those two together. And I mean, that right. affects a lot of women. Especially because this is something women... You do regularly. Of course. Right, so we don't want you to just go ahead and cancel all those appointments this morning just yet. Let's talk about this. Yeah, we'll wait on uh, your results, if you will. Okay. All right, thank yeah. you, Brie.